What's up friends? Welcome or welcome back to nine and three quarters. It's Carissa here and I'm so happy to have you here. So thank you so much for being here with me and I appreciate you all so much. Um, I'm back here with a reading that I've been wanting to bring you for quite some time now. Um, I've been thinking a lot about this reading for quite a bit. Um, if you know, this is a timeless reading by the way, I just want to preface it with that. But if you've been here for a while, you know that over November, December 2022, I have been spotty with my content to upload because I've allowed myself the time and space to really alchemize. And during that time, I was shown something during my experiences um, of awakening um, that I like to call the unfoldment. And what that is, if you're familiar with Japanese origami, you have to sometimes fold the piece of paper a certain way and then unfold it before you fold it another way in order to get the design to come out. So um, I hope that makes sense. I'm probably not explaining it very nicely, but um, you kind of have to go one way and then go back, go another way and then go back before you can go the way that you're meant to go because you're learning something in the process it's called the un and i like to call it the unfoldment because it's like right before the awakening before you realize like what it is that you're meant to be doing and then it's during that time where you're actually learning beforehand these experiences that are shaping you into who you're go who you are and where you're meant to go so um that's kind of what I wanted this reading to kind of focus on is like the magic that's inside of you that's going to be sparking up something incredible and let's tap into that magic inside of you what is it where is it going where is it taking you and how can you harness that magic so let's take a look see Um, I have four groups for you guys to choose from, um, four incredible little monster dudes that I've won in this claw game at Fun Factory. You guys know I love going to win you guys little prizes. I'm a gamer nerd at heart. Um, I love, I'm a proud one at that. So if you're one of those two, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comment section. But so you can pick by the tarot deck or the little monster we have. So group one, we have the yellow monster with a little blue spike down the center. They're cute little squishies. Or the mystical manga tarot, which I will randomly pull the artwork. This is the Eight of Cups. That's group one. Group two, we have this red monster or the black tarot, which is the Ten of Cups. And again, I'm randomly pulling so you can see the artwork. Oops. And group three, you have this cute little blue monster with the wings and this is the tarot of the divine with the four of wands and i won't be doing reversals today guys and group four you have the orange monster with the little green helmet spikies um with the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Mother of Pentacles, which is the Queen of Pentacles in this deck. So those are your choices. Go ahead and pause the video here. Take all the time you need to choose your group and I will meet you at your reading. What's up group one? If you chose the yellow monster, the little, um, oh my God, the little blue mohawk and the mystical manga tarot, welcome to your reading. 
Um, right off the bat, I'm hearing Coming Clean by Hilary Duff. Like, let's go back, back to the beginning. Um, I'm coming clean. So that might have significant messages for you guys as far as like something for you. Um, definitely hearing that song. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that ages me. That is my age though, like Hilary Duff, you know. Um, yeah, you guys, I definitely hear that. I feel like yellow might also be very empowering for you guys as far as like um, your solar plexus chakra as well. So wisdom, power, strength, determination, um, as far as like getting to where you need to be going. You know, um, you have a lot of wisdom within you and you are stepping into your power, whether you recognize it or not. And there's something about that song that's really calling me to like going back to the beginning. There might have been something that you have done in a past life for some of you. It's going to vary. So um, for some of you, it's going to be like there's something in a past life that you have done before that feels very familiar to you guys like stepping into it like wow this feels like I've done this my whole life or I was meant to be doing this I can't believe it and for others of you this could be a calling that you've had before and maybe you felt like you know imposter syndrome and for some reason you've walked away from it a little too soon um and you're gonna go back and try again you know that sort of energy or something like that or maybe the cards didn't align you know the stars didn't align it was like just bad timing or something like that but I definitely feel like um going back to something that you started and maybe weren't able to see through or something just didn't fit right in that moment um this could have a lot to do with expressing yourself and being inspired by that as well. Communication, I just the blue and yellow is really inspiring. I was gonna pull tarot first, but you guys are always my guinea pig group. I'm gonna pull your your uh, your tarot, your creation pulled oracles that I have here. This is kind of like an energy, I guess. But this is more so. I had the intention of um, taking a look at like what your um, magic is, you know, that sort of thing. So let's take a look here. We have number 49 magnolias. This is so beautiful. We also have soul family call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. I love how this, uh, color, the colors look so good together. Um, what number is this? 10, 5, 2. 17 spring oh i like this a lot perfect storm the courage to step into life number 44 i like this a lot you guys okay i feel off centered so let's get centered here and we have number 11 songbirds hexbreaker sound healing final goodbye release yes Guys, this is beautiful. Group one. First off, so many synchronistic things going on. 11 and 44 um, being one of them. So you might see a lot of 111s, um, 11, 11, 444, so that sort of thing. Um, definitely very much, a, you might also see a lot of birds, specifically blackbirds. Now I'm hearing blackbird. Um, by the Beatles, the blackbird singing in the dead of night. Spread your wings and learn to fly all your life. You'll take these broke. Okay, so that might be a very significant song. I'm getting a little emotional hearing that. Um, you guys. definitely powerful energy um as far as like what you have within you and coming out here I feel like I feel like with the spring let's let's start here with the spring card you're definitely blo 
it's all about blossoming, blooming, coming into your own, right? Like how I was telling you with this yellow popping out, like stepping into your power, you have so much wisdom and strength and determination, right? That you are stepping into. And that's exactly what the spring card really talks about is really blooming and coming into your own. There's a new dream coming in and this might not necessarily be new. Like I was telling you, you know, this could be something that you have started before. When we, when we cut the deck, I believe yours was the Eight of cups i'm not i can't remember i have terrible memory in the intro but um this uh spring card it, it does talk about a new dream coming in for you that you might be stepping into that's coming towards you and that is blooming i'm also called to these five little like i guess they're apples in the tree um we're gonna call them apples and for me five is the number of change right the number of experience as, as well you you have so much experience with you and we were um we were i was talking to you guys about how you have this unfoldment process that you know you were going through and you had to go one way and another way and whether you recognize it or not these experiences are going to help you in the future you know they might not connect they might be totally different for example before me doing what i'm doing right now i was totally doing something else okay i thought i was going to I was honestly just working for my auntie them as a, an assistant for their appraisal company. And I, I knew I wasn't going to do that, but I also, that helped me realize that I was never going to work a nine to five, like corporate clock in job. I was going to work for myself. Um, left that to work for myself. And I started doing like network marketing and I kind of liked it. Um, I liked the fact that I could, you know, have the freedom, build a life, financial freedom, that sort of thing. They, they sold me a dream and I enjoyed it. And did I find an incredible success? No, not the first time, not the second time, not the third time. Um, and even the last time I had it and I kind of found success, I wasn't happy. I was like living someone else's dream because like I wanted their life and, um, their life wasn't necessarily what I wanted, but the idea, you know, I was so empathic that I picked up on that, you know, that, that want, that need, but it wasn't fulfilling. I still wasn't happy. And so ultimately the, the things that I've learned there, you know, the skill set that I've learned there has brought me here and it made learning how to be on camera so much easier. It made um, creating graphics and doing things so much easier because I've learned it there. You know, it made mindset things so much easier because I've already done it there. Um, all the spirituality things clicked because I did it there. And um, not necessarily because I had to, but because I, I aligned with it, but it just didn't click because it wasn't fully in alignment with me and who I wanted to be and who I was inside, if that makes sense. So I feel like same with you, you know, there's like group one, you know, there's like something here within your experience. And like I said, it's going to be different for everyone because this is a general reading that your experiences are going to shape and mold to where you are. One plus four is five five it's going to change things are changing um this is also number 17 seven is 17 is the star in tarot so there's so much hope and um you are the star you guys you're stepping into this star mean character energy of your life um and calling in your soul tribe this family this like tree is like your family tree and i feel like that's another thing that they're taking me to is like, I longed for a community. I longed for, you know, deep bonds with people who understood where I wanted to be and what I, who I was, you know, cause I didn't really have that. Um, I've always been someone who's only had like one or two really good friends, like my best friends who understood me and got me. Um, and I longed for that connection of, you know, and I, I didn't have that. So what did I do? I started to build my own community. Um, and that's what I did because I never found it anywhere else, you know, um, in network marketing, nobody's your friend unless you have, you're successful. And even then it's not real, you know? 
Um, and I don't want to say nobody because I don't want to generalize. I don't want to offend anyone. But honestly, that's my own experience. Um, so I'm just sharing that with you. I'm not trying to put anyone down. Um, so I just want to put that out there. But that is what I'm, I'm letting you know my own experience, okay? Um, with that being said, you guys, I feel like you guys are finding your own community. You're calling in your own soul tribe. This is you having the strength and the deter determination, stepping into your power to be who you are so that you don't have to pretend to fit in anywhere, that you can just be you and attract the people who you're meant to attract towards you rather than trying to fit in somewhere that you don't feel right in, that you have to feel like, you know, you have to be like this in order to be someone to be your friend. You know what I mean? Um, instead, you're calling in your tribe and you don't have to feel alone anymore. You don't have to feel like this odd duck, this misfit, you know? And I don't even like saying misfit as like a bad term because I feel like misfit is an empowering term. Like I've said it here on my channel quite a few times like we are a bunch of misfits and that is so empowering because i think misfits are so magical um i think the island of misfit toys i think that is the most powerful and incredible and magical island and they do so incredible they do so incredible they do such incredible things there and that is what i want to do here you know i think that um and I'm going on a tangent, but anyways, that is what you guys are doing. You know, you are doing such magical things. And even with this card here, the perfect storm, I'm going to go all over the place here. You guys might be neurodivergent a little bit because I feel like I'm going all over the place and getting a little squirrely, but um, that is not a bad thing. I feel like you guys are, you guys might be very intuitive and insightful. You guys might be thinking about something and then boom, it happens. Um, you might be very powerful manifestors, whether you realize it or not. It's just about you tapping into that energy because I feel like you have two crows here, two ravens. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of joy and um, there's a lot of joy and happiness tapping into this card again see i'm going back and forth so sorry um so definitely that's something to look forward in and when you tap into that childlike joy that you have within you you're going to find that that passion reigniting within you as far as like what it is what it is that you're meant to be doing you know um since we're on the side magnolias it's really about maintaining this poise and stability see how graceful and like poised this beautiful woman is in this picture um she's so dignified and feminine beauty like grace she's like she's beauty and she's grace like i'm hearing like that miscongeniality like theme song um she's beauty and she's grace she's miss united states um maybe that has messages for you but uh definitely um or steel magnolias, but you're resilient and beautiful. And um, this is regardless of what you identify as. So keep that in mind. This is just about you maintaining that poise and stability. You're somebody who can, in the face of a storm, you like, just like this, just like this raven, this crow, you are, you are like calm, cool as a cucumber, you know, nothing to worry about like you got this you know what I mean like you know you can handle whatever life is throwing at you because you've been through worse and even if you haven't you can handle it you know you know it you know it and I feel like this is divine feminine energy also coming through for you so it's about you being open to receiving the things that are coming your way as well um and going here with perfect storm it's kind of about balance because this card does say the courage to step into life which is more about action right um so when you do get the message when you do see what it is you're meant to be doing you having the courage to step into that and take action on it you having the courage to say okay i'm gonna go and do the dang thing and you doing it and then recognizing when it is time for you to take a step back and receive 
you allow yourself to receive and see that you are worthy of receiving, you know? Hexbreaker, sound healing, final goodbye, release, releasing any limiting beliefs and doubts that you have within you because you are so worthy of receiving, you know? Being open to receiving and understanding that you are. Um, if you're having issues with that, I do feel like sound healing is definitely great. Any type of music, um, like I was telling you, those songs that popped in might be really, really helpful. Um, that Coming Clean by Hilary Duff might be really helpful. And Blackbird um, by the Beatles. Be very mindful of the type of music that you listen to because the words do matter. You know, if you're listening to depressive music, not to say that it's bad, but it can take a toll on your energy. So be very mindful of it. I'm not saying that you should never listen to it because it does help with healing, but just be very mindful, okay? Um, because there is a balance. I do think though that with the sound healing, the solar plexus, um, solar plexus sound healing might be very helpful as well in that sound frequency um, might be very helpful for you to listen to releasing anything as far as like you writing it down on a piece of paper, folding it away from you three times and then either burying it, ripping it up or burning it. However you choose to release is great. Um, if you do burn it, please burn it safely. And yes, as far as Hexbreaker, I do feel like you are, I'm seeing a breaker of genes like Game of Thrones. And definitely you might be somebody who breaks chains in your family you know like changing things up let's get more details though because i feel like i um that i could go on and on with this um energy here but definitely um we aren't taking reversals but i will read whatever i feel comes through but yeah you guys are definitely i have feel like luck is on your side this is 13 condenses from 49 also four lots of four energy so manifestations coming through yes justice another 11 coming in for you tell me more about group one pounds magic and what they're going to be doing with it Oh, we have the three of pentacles. It actually came out with the justice, but it came out again. We have the five of swords. Tell me about group one. We have the queen of swords. Whoa, one more piece. And the five of wands. In the back of your deck, we have death. See, we have that five coming out again quite often as well. So lots of change. You overcoming a lot of challenges. I feel like there's a lot of conflict within you as far as you accepting the things that might be coming towards you. So allowing yourself to really step into the newness that's coming towards you step into the things and accepting what's coming your way is really going to be what's going to challenge you the most i feel like group one um but really letting really understanding like you need to really start seeing yourself the way that others see you you know i feel like you're so hard on yourself sometimes and really what you need to recognize is like people really do see your value and your worth and um they may not necessarily say it or you know what do you call it <sighs> express it and oftentimes you bring out the competitive energy within other people so i feel like sometimes 
it doesn't come out that way. Like it doesn't always portray as them being so supportive of you, you know, and oftentimes these might be the people who are supposed to be closest to you. I do, oops, I do, however, feel that when you start stepping into your power, justice will be served. You know, I, I feel like the, the scales of karma are going to be balancing out for you and that your soul tribe is going to be coming in towards you. People more like-minded, more in your realm of, you know, the things that you're going to be doing, um, they're going to be flocking towards you and seeing you and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, yes, you know, and things are going to be like opening up for you. You're stepping into this new life and really embracing it and allowing yourself to be you, you know, to be exactly seen as you should be. You're going to start seeing yourself the way that you should and allowing yourself to win at all costs, regardless, you know, because you should. It's your time. It's your it's your springtime it's your time to bloom and it's your time to be this magnolia and bloom in the spring you know and be this rebirth have this rebirth that you so rightly deserve you know have this look at that the strength card is right behind it you know you deserve this time you deserve this new energy coming into your life and it's time for you to embrace that it's time for you to see that you know, it's okay for you to win too. It's okay for you to have this. You are worthy of it. And why not you too? You know, why not? And then um, I also feel like that eight of cups that came out earlier, it's about you letting go of things that no longer serve you, including your own self-doubt, your own self-limiting beliefs, letting go of the people who maybe not maybe don't have your best interests at heart, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean like because you're blood related that you have to hold on to them, you know, you can maintain a relationship with someone and still uphold boundaries, you know, you need to do what's right for you and your life and your happiness because what, at the end of the day, when you're old and gray, who, who do you have left in your life? Who's taking care of you? You are, not them. You know what I'm saying? So you need to focus on getting your bag. You need to focus on who's taking care of you at the end of the day. It's going to be you. So I'm also curious. Yes, look at this. Because if you don't, you're going to end up hurting yourself. You're going to end up with this broken heart. And behind that, we have this eight of wands. And it's going to happen quicker than you think. The more that you, the more that you have this control, you know, the seven of swords behind that. It's just about you understanding that you hold the power and you have the key to all of these things and you need to release that and have the strategy to move forward in ways so that you can achieve the success that you want to have in your life, you know? It's not about you feeling like, you know, you're leaving anybody behind or you're doing things in spite of anybody. No, you're not. You're not necessarily being like that. You know, you're doing what you need to do for you. You're growing You're, you are doing the thing that you need to do to provide a legacy and this build, grow this beautiful tree so that you can do better for yourself. And then thus, by you doing that, you can grow even bigger and more so to take care of the people that you want to take care of in the way that you might want to be taking care of them, you know, if that makes sense. Um, hopefully I'm not babbling too much, but if that makes sense for you, then that message was for you, okay? Um, let's get you some of these Moonology cards for more messages as far as like anything you need to let go of or know about your tapping into this. Okay, what does group one need to know? What does group one need to know? Anything group one needs to know about their potential? Oh, I just flipped back over. I don't know what happened. What does group one need to know? Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So definitely, you don't need to be spiteful. Like I said, you can do things with love and still do things for yourself. You know, it doesn't have to feel like you're doing things out of spite, like I told you. 
This is out of love for you. Adjustments are required third quarter moon, definitely. So this, these adjustments are made for you in your life so that you can pivot and do things to align with who you are meant to be and what you're meant to be doing, right? So that you can no longer feel conflicted by the things that are holding you back in your life so that you can be in alignment with what you are meant to be doing. You know, you can call in your soul tribe. You don't have to feel so alone in your life and you can feel like you are breaking the barriers in your family in which you don't have to feel like you're a slave to the things that you have been feeling like. You don't have to feel like you have to repeat history and do things unhappily and you get to do all the things. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, don't let this, don't let your ego be the reason why you have to do the things that you are doing, okay? Okay, sorry, this one. The back of your deck. Oh, let's get you one more. Okay. Oh, or two more. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So you will know when it's time to take action. Stepping into that eye of the storm and having calmness when it does that. And your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Okay. The back of your deck. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Yeah, definitely. These changes are coming in and they're coming in hot. So we're going to close out now with these, this advice and guidance from your soul when it comes into, when it comes to this. So, yeah, you guys. Advice and guidance for group one, please. We have number 15. You are treating your inner child with kindness. Patience. Are you treating your inner child with kindness, patience, and love? When was the last time you felt childlike wonder and joy? Yeah, you guys. Seriously. It's time to start treating yourself with that love and that kindness that you give so freely to other people. You know? Put yourself first this time. You also have number eight, you are whole. You don't need anyone to complete you. You will always be whole. Okay, one more. We have number three. Is this number six? You, this moment will be a mere memory one day. Are you making the most of it? beautiful on the back of your deck you guys we have number 20 follow the path of least resistance it'll feel right and you guys will know it you know so keep going group one that is what i have for, for you and where i'm going to leave your reading thank you guys so so much for letting me do this reading for you i hope that it made sense i hope that it brought you clarity and i hope that it brought you that little light and spark at the end of your tunnel um wherever you may be in your journey as far as like the unfoldment and your awakening and things like that tapping into your magic because you are so so magical and you are so powerful group one there's so many things that lay ahead for you and stepping into your journey and you just have to see that you have to like allow yourself to step into your power and allow yourself to be the badass that you are because seriously you guys are so thank you guys so so much for letting me do this reading for you i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comment section don't forget to smash like button and comment like a yellow emoji or something like that so i know you're from group one and yes definitely let me know what's going on and i hope you guys enjoyed and please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat I will also be dropping my Patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube. And yes, thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! What's up group two? If you chose this red monster and the black tarot, um, welcome to your reading. Right off the bat, you guys, I'm hearing, I don't even know what this song is called, but I'm just hearing, in the heat of the night, uh, 
Oh, oh, in the heat of the night. I have no idea. I know it's an old song. I, I apologize if I'm offending anybody. It's. It, I just know it's really old. Like, I want to say in like the 80s. I want to say it's an 80s song. Um, in the night I dream about lo what lovers do. Something like that. And I'm just hearing... Dun, 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 dun. No, no. If I can figure out what the song is, I will drop it. I always will like put it on the screen, but um, that's what I'm hearing. And like, I just like feel like I need to like dance. You know, it's like dance music. Um, and I feel like that's what you guys like. This is this is the vibe, like, or at least the vibe that you guys need to be doing, um, or be in. You know what I mean? Jumping into so definitely that energy coming through. For you guys um yeah i feel like this is really tapping into like i don't want to say like sexy because i don't want it to come off as like to be clear um it doesn't matter like you you it doesn't mean like you have to identify as feminine to be sexy you can definitely be sexy and be masculine you know what i mean there's both sides of sexy you know like hello have you seen henry cavill i mean he is sexy as um i mean he is my eye candy all day and all night um, but I mean, you know, like this is just the energy. Like, I feel like your magic is like, you are stepping into this, like, you know, popping into your sexiness, your passion, your flow, your fire, you know, and it's not just because you picked the red guy, but maybe it is because you picked the red guy, you know? Um, but definitely there's a fire in you that's starting to burn. I'm also seeing Calcifer from... Um, Howl's Moving Castle and Howl's Moving Castle might actually be a very significant movie for you guys to watch if you haven't watched it already. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time, by the way. Um, but definitely there is this fire in you that's burning and it's not necessarily sexual fire, but definitely sexuality can definitely be a very powerful feeling that can ignite your magic and that can ignite something powerful within you as well. And that can have a lot to do with sacral energy, you know? Um, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, man down. Sky's looking at it like, what the heck? I, it totally rolled on her. Um, she's under my desk. But um, your sacral chakra, which is one above the root, typically red is root, right? But this is giving me sacral energy, you know, passion, um, sexuality, pleasure, creative, creative energy, you know, it's definitely tapping into that fire in you. And so I feel like I'm going on and on with this um, on a tangent as far as like what I'm picking up on from your vibe. But like, if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant or like you can't get in the flow of where you're meant to be going, what you're meant to be doing, definitely turn on some music that makes you want to move and dance it out because I feel like that's really important. I had a post on my community tab if you're subscribed and if you're not, go ahead and click the little subscribe and the bell notification um, if you feel called to, of course, but I would love it if you do subscribe to the fam. And um, go ahead and check that out because I... I love me some Queen. Um, Queen is old school, but a classic. And Don't Stop Me Now is one that I post quite often from time to time when it pops up. Um, Freddie Mercury came up. And um, yeah, dance it out. Get back into your body because sometimes we're so stuck in our, in our head and the mind and in the mental. And so definitely dancing it out, moving our body, whether it be working out, like sometimes, you know, just really turning on the music and dancing versus like exercising, like working out, like dancing in itself is a workout, right? But actually dancing and feeling the beat and moving your body in a way um, can really make a really big difference. So, uh, hold on a second because I lost the cards. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to get started with your pre-shuffled oracles here. This is like, like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to call this reading just yet. This is kind of like your energy check, I guess, um, looking at what 
your magic is and what your potential and tapping into all of that and we're gonna use the tarot to elaborate and I think we're gonna I don't even know I'm gonna end up refilming the I don't know part of the intro to figure out things anyways you guys are gonna sneak peek into the things that go on into my mind but here we go Oh my god, this is amazing. We have number 32, Kitsune, which is Fox. Okay. Love it. You guys have a bonus card, by the way, with this. You also have, okay, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. I'm going to have to move these down because you have an extra. You have the Initiation, Rite of Passage, Crossing the Threshold. So I'm going to move this. I'm just going to, I'm going to put this like this. Um, you guys might have perfectionist vibes because this is bothering me. Um, you have autumn. Oh, very much sacral vibes guys with the orange the fall 22 oh yes drawing down the sun wildfire divine masculine magnificent witness some leo energy in that card as well and number 23 fortune's wheel luck and right timing okay i like it a lot you guys all right group to I love this for you guys okay um a lot of like I said that sacral golden energy I feel like this might be your I feel like this is going to be a very lucky year if you guys don't watch my rainbow collab um I talked about that a lot about how this is going to be a very great year for many of us um acclaim it I mean for all of us you know um but fortunes wheel luck and right timing drawing down the sun i just feel like you guys are definitely stepping in to your power for sure very similar to group one but very different at the same time because you're stepping into it in a different way if that makes sense um it's interesting too though because group one did have a season as this particular card but their season was spring and yours is autumn so quite quite different um in that sense we have autumn being 29 which is um for me makes me think of saturn return um <clears throat> so you guys could have very well been going through a saturn return for some of you um that might be significant um but again it doesn't necessarily have to mean that uh it could definitely just be that 2022 is particularly a hard year or well, this is a timeless reading though so it could just mean that you have recently come through a very difficult time in your life as well um three six nine there are nine golden apples here on your tree here which makes me feel like you are definitely coming into fruition of your um manifestations this year or very soon you know what i mean i feel like that's kind of the energy the vibe that i'm feeling from this whole thing especially with the sun claiming your happiness fortune's wheel luck and right timing i think like everything's finally falling into place like you did all the hard work and now it's just about you really enjoying it you know um claiming it and allowing it to be um autumn really talks about you know the culmination right that fruition and release so really just reflecting back on your journey on the things that you have done and how far you've come and the people who really helps you get here you know get to where you are um also though it's about really being generous culminating having gratitude sharing your wisdom and your wealth um um, being ready to release you know while you are receiving things it's about releasing things that you don't need releasing things that don't serve you releasing things that you know are not necessary um so i do feel that as well <sighs> getting ready for winter is like you know, taking in only what you need and not having too much of an excess because we don't want to be too greedy. You know, I feel like that's kind of the energy too. 
um, that I'm feeling with this card. Um, moving into Kitsune 32. Uh, curious, you know, with the fox. Kitsune is curious, cunning, clever. This could be like Slytherin vibes, you know, whenever I think of that that energy. Very playful and you use your all of your senses. You know, you might be very keen to like being like having spidey senses, I'm hearing. Um, but you really have, rely heavily on your instincts, which could definitely tap into even um Gryffindor, to be honest with you. Um so this could go either way with that. I, can you tell I, I'm a nerd with Harry Potter things? Um, but what I'm getting at here is like, you guys are very intelligent and full of wisdom. You know, you have gone through so many things. Um, wow. You've gone through so many things, right? And as you've gone through your journey, especially with the autumn and the kitsune here, you have picked up on so many things and learned and grown and come to be who you are that now it's time to pass on that knowledge where you can, you know, share the wisdom, share the wealth, um, be grateful for who you are and where you are in your journey and allow yourself to also share that wisdom with others so that others can grow as you share that wisdom, you know, that's also going to help you grow and further along your way. Now, I know I said that this was going to be more like, you know, where is this going to take me? How can I tap into this? And what is it going to do? You know, where where is it going to go? Where What is this magic going to do for me? What is this potential for me to do? Wildfire, divine, masculine, magnificence, wisdom. You know, with you tapping into this energy of the sun and divine masculine, I think it's you stepping into a leadership role and you really enjoying that as well. You know, it might not feel comfortable for all of you because this is a um, general reading. You know, for some of you, this is going to feel great. And for others of you, this might be something totally out of your comfort zone. Um, and it might take some time. But um, I don't want to say do what's comfortable, but I want to say do what feels right and in alignment with you because sometimes in order for us to grow we need to do what feels uncomfortable right growth is uncomfortable um however i don't ever want to pressure anyone to do something that doesn't feel right you know what i mean um but this is just the, the message that's coming through and i want to deliver that to you you know i wouldn't be i wouldn't be me if i didn't at least deliver the message and you can do that with what you will you know um but definitely understanding that you have the power and abilities to step into that leadership role, to pass on the knowledge. You have this potential within you to do that. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. Being in alignment, you are so heavily guided as well. Um, you have the, the spirit guides and the spirit team around you pushing you along the way. Even your ancestral team as well, really helping you. Um, being with you, I feel like you are heavily, heavily guided, especially with a tree here. I feel like there are deep roots around you in your ancestry, um, pushing you along the way. Um, luck and right timing. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't really need to touch much on there. But with the initiation rite of passage, crossing the threshold, this is really about a challenge that you're facing and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to feel necessarily like stepping into, you know, a new pair of shoes and it's going to be easy breezy. No, there is a break-in period. There is a time where it's going to feel a little uncomfortable. You know, it's going to feel like, oh my gosh, breaking in these shoes are going to feel a little bit like, ouch, you know, um, you're going to have to get used to it. You're going to have to find your stride. You're going to have to deal with maybe a little bit of uncomfortable rubbing or find the better socks, something like that. You know, I'm probably using the worst analogy ever, but that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting into right with that. Um, let's get a little more details here with the tarot. But I definitely do feel like whether you recognize it or not, you know, because you have all of these things coming through with fortune's wheel coming out, I do want to say that, you know, what you are doing and what you are stepping into, you are going to be benefiting others with your gifts. And by you doing that, by you using your gifts and your 
you know, the things that you're getting from this year to help others, it will return to you tenfold. Versus if you choose the path of greediness, if you choose the path of only you, you, you and being selfish, while being selfish once in a while is totally fine, but purely doing things out of spite and like only for you, purely for you and only being selfish, um, that might come back to bite you in the butt later. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of the message that's coming through with this fortune's wheel and the autumn. Like because you have so much abundance coming your way. Um, and council of light. I just feel like this is kind of a little bit of kind of like a test, I guess, is what is kind of being what the word that's coming through. Um with this fortune's wheel also, I feel like you do have the magic touch, like whatever you touch will be gold like I'm so drawn to the hand and the gold and like you have the Midas touch you know um so I feel like I feel like it's going to be your lucky year wow that just flew out that's way too many cards though you have the knight of wands wow okay what is happening what's to what are you using my magic? How can I use my magic? We have the world. Whoa! Goodness gracious. Does somebody say that because I almost never say that. We have the Ten of Wands. Two of Cups. One more, please. And the Page of Spears. In the back of your deck, we have the Sun. Okay. Let's fix. The alignment here of the cards because I'm not liking how it looks. Okay. Group two. Wow. Okay. I feel like you guys are definitely, um, definitely stepping into a happy year, right? We have the sun coming out twice. You have the sun here and the sun here. So definitely this year is about you finding things that light you up, that light your soul on fire and just finding your happiness this year, your joy, your like things that are just literally lighting you up. Um, with the Knight of Wands and even the Page of Spheres, this is like, this could definitely be something entrepreneurial, something that you starting on your own and something that really draws you like inspiration and something that you're putting down, draw, putting down roots in. This could be a brand new product, um, but definitely something that also benefits literally the world or at the very least, a community of sorts, you know, helpers um, in the subtle realms, divine orchestration. I feel like um, you're definitely doing something to solve a problem and help people, whether it be something like, you know, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like life changing in the sense of like solving pollution in the ocean or something like that. But it can definitely be something as simple as like, you know, um, my um it can be something as simple as like i don't know guys like let's say maybe making a program for twitch streamers to help them bypass certain things or um creating a, a software for gamers something like that or an app um i don't know why my mind is going to games so maybe something fun like that you know what i mean like something that really is fun for you and at the same time benefits other people so it's not necessarily just for you you know what i mean um i hope that makes sense like it's not purely out of profit but it's also like something that is a passion for you and also helps people in that 
particular community that you are tapping into, if that makes sense. So like if you're in the gaming community, you would help out the gaming community. If you are in the Harry Potter community, you're helping out the Harry Potter community. If you are in the plant community, you're doing something to help the plant community. Like you're coming up with a cute way to water like succulent plants um, because it's a pain in the butt and people forget to spritz their things. Um, maybe you come up with a cool way to have an automatic spritzer or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Something like that. It feels like that. It's, you know what? It feels like you might feel like the weight is on you. Like you carry a lot of responsibilities. You're taking on a lot of responsibilities by starting on this project. But it's also bringing you closer to people. You know, you you are calling in people to help you, and you you are thus unburdening yourself so much because you're able to rely on those people coming in to help you. You know, you're able to um, be like, hey, um, you know, I think you're going to then sprout uh, more people to come in and hire these people. I feel like with the two of cups coming in. Um, create more uh friendships and build a community around that and find a way to do that divine intervention orchestration helpers in the subtle realms i feel like help is coming in to towards you to unburden you of such things and so you don't feel like you are overburdened and going to burn out you know what i mean i also feel too though like with your magic and your spark and all of this fun that you're having it's very important for you so that you don't burn out is that is for you to understand too that balancing out this work and the things that you are doing for work it's important for you to play and have fun with those who mean the most with you for some of you this could be a divine counterpart coming in because you had this masculine energy coming through and you're reading so heavily um, I do feel like a counterpart could be coming in for you now for those of you who are already in a relationship this could just mean that your relationship is elevating to another level um, things are going to be smoothing out if they haven't been so great lately things like that and um definitely you calling in this balance this this divine intervention like in right timing things are going to start working out um for the better for you guys you know um what's behind here ace of wands yes this spark of like passion this spark of creative energy the spark of like fiery energy that we were talking about all coming through in your reading and I believe when we cut the deck for um your pick a group it was the ten of cups and it's you guys finding your family finding this happiness this happy ten of cups feeling so fulfilled at, at the end of the day you know what I mean and it's just about you creating that balance it's about you allowing yourself to unburden allowing yourself to be not so focused only on you 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 and allowing others to come in as well balance bring the balance in okay um because too much fire isn't good as well you know allowing yourself to balance by either you know letting people in um having some play time in your life as well and you know um don't be so much in to your passion fiery side you know ground it as well you know allow yourself to communicate allow yourself to have this creative flow and be in touch with your expressive side don't just be like fire 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 you know communicate it express it um in that way and that's what i mean by dancing out you know don't just hold it in and like pfft, like breathe it out you know dance it out with your body um, and I think that's why it came through in the beginning so strongly about you dancing it out. So very important for you to do that. Um, let's go in with these. Oh, I'm curious too. What's here? The Emperor. Look at that. Stepping into your power. I'm really just understanding. Being disciplined is going to be important for you also this um, throughout the year. And just understanding like as you... I know this, I said this is a time of three. So whenever you're seeing this, you having that discipline and control to allow yourself, like don't be too much into one thing, control yourself and allow yourself to go here as well. Like, don't be too much in the fire, go into the water also. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, so let's get you some of these monology cards to see what else you need to know, you guys. Because like I said, this is about you having more balance, allowing yourself to ground also and 
benefiting others, not just being so much about what do you want and only you. Because, like, it is, it is important for us to be selfish sometimes, every once in a while, putting ourselves first. But in this case, it's just also honing it back in. Because if with all the abundance that's coming towards you, um, using some of that abundance to share with others and benefit others is really going to end up benefiting you in the long run, like tenfold. So that is way too many cards. What does what else does group two need to know? You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah. So you don't need to worry as long as you maintain that balance, right? New moon and cancer. Cancer is also making you feel like you need to be in touch with your emotions, you guys. Express your feelings. Your dreams need a practical plan. So stay grounded with this full moon in Taurus. Okay. What else does group two need to know? Luck it look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So yes, take a step back. Sometimes we're too close to the fire. You know what I mean? Too close to the fire. And you're gonna get burning to take a step back. Okay, let's get you a couple more. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Love that for you guys. I feel like it is happening. Things are popping off. That's too many. One more, please. What else does group two need to know, please? Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Yep, what was I saying? And it said it twice, you guys. It's incredible. And the back of your deck says, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So don't forget to express yourself. That's about expression and tapping into you. Don't, don't just be like all about like, being on fire and you know what I mean it's about you expressing how you're feeling expressing yourself I really feel like dancing it out make it a point to dance it out okay and we're going to close out now with these advice and guidance from your soul advice and guidance from group two soul please whoa we have number 15 are you treating your inner child with kindness, patience, and love? When was the last time you felt childlike wonder and joy? Yes, definitely tapping into your inner child. Group one had that as well. I just have similar things, but like I said, it's similar but different, if that makes sense. I want to say group one is maybe more on the feminine side. You guys are more on like the masculine side. Does that make sense? And again, it's just energy. So we all have feminine and masculine energy. Number 17. Again, 17, you guys. Oh, no. Just kidding. You had 19. Oh, guys. Maybe, that, maybe that's a sign. You guys are a star. Use your power to bring this world love and peace. See, this is about you guys benefiting other people. Not just yourselves. But because you guys are benefiting other people... Something big is going to come towards you. You know what I mean? Like, it's really going to benefit you guys. Like, that's a huge thing. Like, you guys might be having, like, a rise to fame or starhood because of that, you know? And then you have number 27, connect with your soul family. Again, you are so surrounded. And I feel like this is so similar to group one, but so different at the same time. Like I said, it's, like, balance because... Group one is more feminine energy, and you guys are more masculine energy. Find wisdom in challenges number 16. You guys are definitely doing that. You guys have overcome so much, like I told you. Um, you guys have come out of a hard year in 2022, or if you're watching this past that, because this is a timeless reading, you guys have come out of a hard time in your life and you have to understand that you've learned and grown and come out on the other side and you are where you are because of that you're like I said the unfoldment has a lot to do with this you know learning and your experiences have molded you and shaped you into who you are and it's about you sharing your wisdom and being gratitude, um, being gra gratitude, being in a state of gratitude for where you are and by you stepping into this leadership role and sharing your wisdom and your experiences with those um, around you or coming into the next 
part you know regardless of because i feel like being in a leadership role can be so many different things you know um this could be like a teaching role this could be a mentor of some kind um a boss like a manager or something like that because i do feel like very entrepreneurial vibes from this group as well but you guys are able to really impact so many people you know what i mean um but definitely you guys are doing so many great things um look, i'm hearing the climb by Marley cyrus that might be significant for you guys as well um but that is where i'm going to leave your reading group too thank you guys so so much for letting me do this reading for you i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you did please go ahead and smash the like button and comment like a red emoji or a red heart or something or a fire so i know that you're from group two let me know how you guys enjoyed this and how it resonated for you um, I love talking with you guys in the comment section. Also, I would appreciate it if you went ahead and subscribed and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Um, I will also be linking my Patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings and not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so much for being here and I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you are watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye! What's up group three? If you chose this cute little blue winged monster in the Tower of the Divine, welcome to your reading. Not gonna lie, this is my favorite one. Um, I didn't want to see anything. Um, but right off the bat, you guys, I'm hearing that song Lift Me Up by Rihanna um, from the Black Panther movie. I just, I keep hearing it. Um, so that might be a really significant song for you guys. Um, you guys also had the Four of Wands show up when we did your, um, pick a card. Um, like just showing the, when we were showing the cards. So, I feel like calling in a divine counterpart might be, um, significant for you guys um if you already have a partner though it could just mean that you guys are elevating calling in soul family uh i also feel like this could be a year of like celebrations a year of yeah a year of celebrating things happening for you and you guys really stepping into i feel like this is just all about you guys stepping into your power you know, I feel like that's the key ingredient here throughout all the readings that we've been, ha I've been doing. Sorry, I have to drink some water. Um, but yeah, you guys, I feel like, <clears throat> honestly, it feels like perhaps you guys have the most loyal heart you know maybe to a fault even where if somebody hurts you you might stay out of loyalty you know and not to say like i'm not trying to say like that's a bad thing or that you know nothing of that sort i just feel like you guys are definitely um taken advantage of in some times and that's painful you know it's hard and it doesn't make you dumb. It doesn't make you any less than. In fact, it makes you so strong. And people don't recognize you in your power. They often underestimate your power. And I think you underestimate your power too. You know, you are so inspiring and you have the heart of gold, you know? Um, so I do want to lead with that. Um, I have your pre-shuffled oracles here. That I want to dig into and I feel like if you don't have a counterpart or maybe you're in a relationship that you're trying to get out of um, and you maybe you're manifesting a new one something like that that this year you could possibly be getting out of it and leading into a new one or stepping into that energy um, <clears throat> Just because I keep hearing lift me up, um, hold me down, keep me safe, safe and sound. And I think that 
you do that for others and you're calling someone to do that for you. Um, I just keep hearing that. So we'll, we'll take a look because I feel like it is going to be different for each of you and it's not necessarily going to be a love reading. Definitely that's not the intention here. Um, but I do feel like for what you do for other people, you help enlighten them in some way. Um, there's some incredible way in which you lift people up and you light them up. So let's take a look. Wow. What was I saying? You lift people up. Aviators number 29. This is so cute. And I'm not like a big cat person either. I'm allergic to cats, but um, I think cats are pretty cute. You have a bonus card. You have, I'm going to end up moving this. You have a number, a number. You have get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Wow. And you're already doing it. Stop overthinking your face. Keep facing your true north. Wow. Can we just talk about how these cards are so similar in the message? Like as far as alignment here. Okay. And then it says, you're already doing it. Keep facing your true north because you're in alignment with what you are meant to be doing. You know, connect with nature, ground yourself. You know, you're overthinking something and keep facing your true north. You know, I feel like you are definitely... This might be my psychic group. Okay, XLVI, what is that, 30, 46, 46, Sparks of Light, okay, yes, 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 37, Magician's Sword, Confidence in Your Magic, <clears throat> wow, 29, is that another 29, guys, yes, and we had the four of wands, so definitely twin flame energy might be significant for you guys because we had 11 11 twin flame drawing down the moon divine feminine source channel stillness and this is like the mark of the um goddess moon goddess energy um you guys i also feel like third eye you guys are definitely, and you guys might be my tower readers, um, energy healers, empaths, um, <clears throat> light workers. You guys are absolutely incredible. And in case you needed a reminding, you guys are, you guys are magical and powerful and badass AF. Okay. Um, in case nobody told you lately and you needed a reminder. Um, so I want to lead with that. Okay. <laughs> Because you need to have more confidence in your magic and just how incredibly magical and powerful and incredible you are, okay? Um, with the sparks of light, you guys, not only do you need to have hope in where you are going and what's going to be happening for you and all the things, but you also under need to understand that you give hope to other people. Like I was telling you, I think that you lift people up and you light people up. Um, there's so much magic in you and <clears throat> around you and you have so much like vitality and inspiration and it's all within your reach, you know? Um, stay curious and allow yourself to explore all the things whether it like you know whether it seems so odd to you especially if it seems so odd to you you know I think the things that we feel like you know when I when I think like when I think about the things that are like oh my gosh are people gonna like this or whatever like if I get too much in my head and I end up talking myself out of it um and this reading is one of them like I got too much in my head and then I ended up pushing it off pushing it off and then now I'm just doing the damn thing because I I don't care I'm just gonna do it because I feel like I have a message to deliver and this is the message that needs to come out and we'll figure out the logistics later you know what I mean the, the main thing is I get you the message that needs to happen and so that's what's happening you guys and I think that that's what you need to know too is like you just sometimes need to allow yourself to get out of your head and lead with what needs to go if that makes sense um because there's so much power I love how it says aviators um and it's like the flyers and you have the one 
monster that has wings. Like seriously, how crazy is that? Um, but at the same time, I'm not surprised because the synchronicities that happen throughout readings that I've done, it just, that's the way, that's the way it works, you know? Um, I also love how the magician's sword is here too, because it's about you having confidence in your magic and how, despite you feeling like, you know, there might be like a million people doing what you're doing. Only you can do what you can do. Okay. So imagine, all right. Um, what do you call it? What's his name? Arthur pulling out his sword and the stone. Okay. He, only he could pull the sword out. Same as you. Okay. Only he, like, just like Gryffindor. Okay. Only a true Gryffindor can pull out the sword from the sorting hat, can call upon Gryffindor's sword. Okay. That is you right there. And whether or not you identify as a Gryffindor does not matter. Um, because we all have a little bit of every house within us. Okay. But what I do want to say is that, oh gosh, there's inspiration in every single card here that you have um, on the table. Um, really just be an inspiration and understand that like in the same way that you are inspired by people, you inspire other people. You know, we all have our own journeys and our own experiences that are going to help other people and no two are the same. Are they similar? Yes. Do they feel often like, oh my gosh, that is my life. Yeah, of course. But are they exact? No. You know, and the way that you deliver a message is so unique to you that people are going to relate, people are going to flock to you, you know, and it's just about you recognizing that you have something special within you that nobody else has, okay, you have the spark, this magic, and be confident in it, and this is something that I have to tell myself all the time, I promise you, it's something I have to tell myself all the time to this very moment in just having confidence in my own magic and it's it's a struggle I promise you it's a struggle it's a daily struggle something that you just have to kind of hype yourself up sometimes sometimes I have to go and watch one of my friend's videos like Lexi's hype yourself up video which I will link down below because she's incredible and one of my main inspirations um sometimes I have to you know go and explore people who really inspire me and I find new people and that's incredible too you know and just honestly it's you guys who inspire me you know with every comment that tells me something sweet every little like you know like just it means the world to me whether you realize it or not it 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 really does impact me as far as like inspiring, you know, it really helps me realize that I'm helping somebody, that I'm making an impact, that I'm doing the right thing, that this is where I'm, I'm meant to be. And so thank you for that, for one thing. And for another thing, you know, it's just about you taking that first step. And even if it's just one person, it starts off with one Okay, and then it starts off with five and then 10 and then 20. 20 people is like a classroom, you guys. Okay, that's incredible. And then it grows to like 50. And that's like, wow. Like, that's like a cafeteria, you guys. That's, wow. You know, and then it's like 100. And that's like, whoa. You know, imagine how many people and in, in, in what, what would that look like standing in front of 100 people talking. That's crazy. And then if you're fortunate enough to get to a thousand, like, that's crazy. Whoa, you know, like, wow. So it's just exhilarating and crazy and wow, you know? So I, I thank you guys. I thank you guys for whenever I reach like a hundred or two hundred. That's insane to me. So, um, but anyways, I'm babbling. And I just, the main message here is that you are an inspiration and you need to have confidence in that because your success will follow, you know, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. And it's just your ego talking, you know, it's just the fear talking. And it's just about you. As long as you are in alignment with what you're doing and you feel like this is, this is you, this is where you're meant to be. This is, this feels right. This feels good. This is like me, you know? then nothing else matters. Honestly, it's just about your confidence in your magic. 
you know, it's about you understanding nothing can stop you. I mean, don't stop me now. You're having a good time. So listen to that song by Freddie Mercury, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Um, I posted it recently. And using this magician sword to cut the cords that bind you, you know, and really just wield this sword wisely because with great power comes great responsibility right um is that spider-man um because it's a tool you know and we use it with decisive action you know we we don't just use it like willy-nilly you know I, I never say that but we don't we don't just use it just because you know it's it's with great power comes great responsibility and we need to understand that you know and i feel like it's just about us leading with good intentions and when we do that you know we can't go wrong um i also think that too you guys um i don't even know i'm just like wow i'm in awe of you and you should be in awe of you because you are so magical and you're stepping into your light and it's just about you having confidence that's the main thing here it's like you are so magical in 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 it of itself like in you of itself does that make sense like you are already magic and you have so many abilities within you and it's just if you feel any sort of doubt or any sort of you know misconceptions about your magic or your abilities or anything like that it's really just about you practicing it's really about you meditating it's really about you getting in touch with it and the more you do it the more in touch with it you'll be it's like a muscle you're training it you know and um the more you do it the more you, the more comfortable you're going to be with it the more in touch with it you're going to be and like i said you know, comparing with how I started in the beginning versus right now, I feel way more comfortable start hitting the record button right now than when I first started. Guarantee you, if I go back and look, and I have recently, I was like, whoa, how did you guys watch that? Um, and it, it gets so much easier as you do it over and over and over. And I promise you, you find things that you feel are more comfortable or more aligned to you you draw inspiration like okay what do I like about this and what do I like about that how can I put my own spin on it and things like that and of course you know you grow and you learn and you expand and that is what it is drawing down the moon divine feminine source channel stillness sometimes we just need to be still meditate allow things to download and come to us you know um, because we are so much like okay what do I do what do I do what do I need to do this I need to do this I need to do that and we're so much go 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 and I need to do this and I need to do that because I'm so far behind when really it's just about you being still and letting yourself just receive letting yourself be letting yourself go with the flow and I'm not saying just sit back and do nothing no I'm saying like sometimes you just need to go at your own pace and you don't need to feel like you have to do 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 because when I felt like I had to do 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 I burnt out so quickly you know so let's just take a look here at anything else that you need to know about this type of thing with the nine of cups you guys I love it I love it what else do you need to know about your magic? The, uh, oh my god, I love this for you guys. I'm so happy the chariot came out. Guys, this is, if this is not the best, I mean, we also have the six of cups. We also have the ten of coins. What? In the back of your deck, we have the full what like what is happening i'm gonna move this down just a smidge and wow guys i just i mean let's just sit back and let this set in for a sec because if if you guys uh you guys know cards you guys know this is beautiful like it's just beautiful page of swords behind that that's beautiful beautiful it's a beautiful i'm hearing it's a beautiful morning um, okay anyways um <clears throat> you guys um i'm just telling you right now 
wow. I mean, wow. Success, victory, amazing things. I feel like soul family is coming in at the very least. Soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. For me, I mean, I feel like every reader reads the Six of Cups differently, honestly. And I do love hearing the different interpretations because honestly, it inspires me to pick up my own interpretations along the way, depending on the energy of the reading and what other cards come out. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I need to drink water. Water is very important, so hydrate. But you guys, um, this is incredible. So remember when we showed you the cards, right? I cut the four of wands. So I do feel like soulmate energy could very much be prominent for many of you in this group. However, I don't want that to be the focal point, okay? Because that's not the main energy of this reading. But I do want to point that out, that this could be something that comes through for you this year or very soon, something like that, okay? So just putting that out there. Um, at the very least, though, this is you connecting with a soul tribe, okay? Connecting with people who are like you. Connecting with people that you are meant to be finding joy and similar like-mindedness with, okay? Um, I also feel like, though, this is about you as you tap into your magic and find confidence within that and tap into your light and draw inspiration, not just from yourself, but those things that really light you up and really choose to inspire others with your magic because you're already doing it. It's just about you having confidence in it and keep doing it. You are going to find that your manifestations are going to start popping off. You're going to find that you are going to be fulfilled and be so happy. Not just fulfilled, but really happy with it. Um, I also feel like you're going to be blossoming with abundance. You know, not just blooming, but blossoming with abundance. And finding the victory and the forward movement. And any kind of stagnation that you might have been feeling over the past year. If you have been like me, I felt very stuck. Very much like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I feel like an imposter. I feel like nothing's popping off. I feel so stuck. And I think like what really opened my eyes to was exploring new avenues and learning things that I have been interested in and I needed that nudge to to go and learn it. So like if you've been interested in learning things like astrology, if you've been interested in learning things like Reiki, um, things that maybe you are not tapped into, maybe you already do those things and you want to learn more about mediumship or more about tarot, something like that, reading reading cards or something and you know vice versa, whatever it is. Um, maybe this is your sign to do that and <clears throat> you need that nudge to go and do that because this full card makes me feel like you are going to take a leap on something that you've been wanting to do and it's going to work out, you know, um, finding success in that way. And I feel like that's what it is for you guys. And I only say that is because I'm being shown like the things that I've been doing and things that are going to start moving you forward and progressing you forward along your journey and you finding success in that. Not just success, but actually blossoming abundance. Like I keep hearing blossoming abundance um, because you have the Empress here, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Coins, you guys, the Chariot. Like that's, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm so excited for the things that are going to be popping off for you guys. Um, the Ten of Coins is all about creating your legacy, your abundance, the things that you've been really dreaming of. I think these are huge, huge dreams and goals and aspirations that you have been manifesting and dreaming of. And it's finally going to start taking shape and on the whole, like really, really going to be popping off for you guys. Um, because like I said, these are things that I've been wanting to do in my own life. Things that I have, you know, the last year when I've been feeling stuck, um, you know, I learned tarot, I learned, I was learning Reiki, I was learning, um, I learned mediumship and things like that. And then I felt called to tap into astrology. So I enrolled with K-Moon, things like that. So I feel like that's kind of the energies here. And I will drop down links of people, hopefully I remember, in the com in the description box. Um, we also have the Eight of Cups behind here. I feel really drawn to keep going. Um, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, your manifestations, you guys. Definitely your manifestations. The things that you've been manifesting. So letting go of the things that you are not feeling anymore. Like 
no longer feeling interested in or tied to, just let it go. It's okay. You know, it's okay to be like, ah, oh, maybe this isn't for me right now. You don't necessarily have to say, um, forget it, but like just put it on the back burner for now. Put it on the side and move on to something else. You know what I mean? You can always go back to it later should you feel called to. But maybe that's what it is. You need a change of pace, you know? But for the most part, whatever you've been manifesting, it's really going to start popping off and like do something that's really calling towards you, really inspiring you and calling you to like peak your interest as far as like the information that you want to learn. Um, cause I feel like that's something that you're going to be taking a leap of faith on. Um, and ultimately your things are going to be popping off for you guys. And I'm super excited, um, because you're going to be inspiring people. You're going to be, you know, drawing things in and just having, like I said, that confidence again in yourself and your magic. And there's so much one energies here. You have 11, 10 condenses to one. Um, what is this? What did I say? This was 46, which is also 10. So tons and tons of ones and zeros. That's crazy, you guys. So much, so much happening. I love it. You guys are probably seeing a lot of 1111s, 111s. Incredible. So let's take a look at anything else you guys need to know about this. Anything else you guys need to know? What else does group three need to know? Oh. A time for healing balsamic moon. Oh, that's too many. <clears throat> so definitely allowing yourself to heal anything that might be still there. Let that happen, you know. Hold your vision, you know, when it comes to something that you have been feeling deep down in your soul like just because it still hasn't happened does not mean it's not going to step out of your comfort zone yeah look at the bigger picture sometimes we sound too close and we can't necessarily see things clearly one more thing one more thing, one more card. Mm -hmm. What else does group one need to know about their magic? Group three, did I say group one? What else does group work through your fears? Yes, you guys work through your fears. Do not let that fear overtake you, you know, because <clears throat> what you're doing is worth it. Have confidence in you. On the back of your deck, it says, show the world the real you. Yep, stand in your authenticity because you will draw forward the community that you are trying to build, the community that is incredible and magical, I promise you. Okay, and now we're going to close out with these advice cards from your soul, which I love these cards, by the way. So advice and guidance for group three, we have number, oh my gosh, why is it so hard to read? 30. We're all just trying to get back to where we came from. Can you guys see that? <laughs> And yes, we are just trying to get back to where we came from. Advice and guidance for group three, please. Number five. We are all one. Love all creatures for we all share the same life force. And I think you guys already do that. You know, but I think it's understanding that you are one of these creatures. So love on yourself. You know what I mean? The way that you love on others. We have, you are whole. Number eight, you are whole. You don't need anyone to complete you. You will always be whole. Yep, in case you needed a reminder. 
in the back of your deck we have number 25 everyone in your life is teaching you something are you learning book of life so i love that I'm gonna put this can you guys still see that if i put it here okay perfect that is where i'm gonna leave your reading group three i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for being here i'm so so happy for you guys and i'm so proud to be in your presence you guys thank you for being here and if you're a light worker and you resonated with this please let me know down below with a cute little dragon emoji um hopefully um and yeah, don't forget to smash the like button and comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Are you one of my fellow group threes? And yeah, I love to talk story with you and get to know you guys. Um, if you guys have a channel, I would love to check it out and um, support, things like that. And yes, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Um, and yeah, let's get to know each other. Um, I love supporting new creators and even not new creators, you know, um, smaller channels, things like that. I love helping everyone grow. I think there's enough room at the table for everybody, you know, and I'm a firm believer in that, by the way, because we all have a different message. We all have a different collective and we all help others in our own way and their own magic is so different so i hope you guys enjoyed and please go ahead and um i think i already said all of those things <laughs> i'm going to drop my patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on youtube and i hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you are watching this and i will see you guys very soon crew three bye What's up group before if you chose this cute little orange guy with the armor helmet type thing and the wild unknown tarot deck welcome to your reading I'm gonna just move these guys a little bit um i don't know i'm smelling um i'm smelling marshmallows um which is really interesting because these candles are actually scented really strongly, but I'm smelling marshmallows. Um, like a really strong smell of marshmallows and um, it's making you really want to eat marshmallows really badly, like uh, a nice toasted marshmallow, you know, like um, golden marshmallow melty so yummy with like a s'more oh my gosh that would be so good i don't know if that's like significant for you guys um wow is willy wonka significant for somebody also um what does that mean um so somebody might have a sweet tooth but i definitely feel that coming through really strong it's pretty rare that I get um, smells coming through um, when I channel. So that's really interesting. Um, I also feel like maybe some of you guys might be into gaming, um, which is also rare when I channel. So take it only if it resonates. Now, if you're not into gaming, that does not mean that this isn't your group, okay? Um, but I do feel like if some of you are gaming, you can take that as a layer of confirmation. Specifically, um, specifically, I'm getting like, I don't know if it's called a role play game. And I'm a gamer, I'm supposed to know these things. But um, I don't know if like Warcraft is in particular a game that you like to play or um, Diablo, maybe um, Starcraft or some sort of like battling type of game like that. Um, but like I said, it does not mean that it's not your pile if it's not, if you're not a gamer, that could just be a layer of confirmation for somebody. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is kind of what I'm getting just off the bat there. Um, otherwise, those particular movies could be significant for you guys. Like Warcraft, World of Warcraft. I know there's a movie. I did watch it. It's very good. Um, I'm also excited for Warhammer 40,000 to come out because the lovely... Um, 
Henry Cavill is going to be in it. And in case you didn't know, he is my favorite. Um, but anyway, um, or The Witcher. Maybe that. What maybe that's something you like that sort of game like Zelda might be something also or something like that anyways like warrior vibes um that's kind of what I'm getting but anyways we're gonna draw we're gonna draw we're gonna we're gonna tap into your energy now so um here we have the pre-shuffled oracles for your group and we're just gonna dive in now before I babble on too much because I could do that we have number 22 chameleon oh I love this and I like how it's very like your 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 uh, monster is chameleon like. We also have age the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Wow, this is warrior vibe energy too. Like you have been training for this. Yeah, totally. Okay, and one, two, three, thirty-six breath. Okay. It's really nice. Uh, number 41, Moon Maiden, New Beginnings. Wow, it's beautiful. And lastly, we have number 36, which is Wounds. Remedy, Magical Medicine, Sacred Heart, Another Day. Okay. I'm also hearing Sun and Moon by Anise. So that might be a significant song for somebody. Um, I like that song. It's really nice. Um, and this card makes me think of Black Adam. I don't know if that's significant for anybody. But um, yeah, okay. Where do I want to start? Let's start with breath, okay? You guys are definitely an inspiration to people with your story um, or with your experiences. And so, because um, you, you have like this life force, right? That warrior energy I was tapping into is definitely true with this breath card. Um, I also feel like that's true here with all of your cards combined. I feel like that's a very much um, a collective energy that I'm drawing in on. Um, I feel like... I feel like this breath is about you making room. Like when you think about a br like taking a breath, it's like it's it's you expanding, right? Making room and um, taking it in and breathing it out. And so, with the with that being said, um, I think breath is also really important when it comes to your stamina. You know, having the stamina to I guess, withstand things that are being thrown at you, you know, not necessarily thrown at you, but like things that are being dealt at you in your life, you know, um, the challenges that you've had to overcome in your life. When I think about a warrior, you know, it's very important for a warrior to have endurance and stamina to be able to um, undergo a lot of these things and be able to, you know, go through battle after battle and run across fields and fight and fight and like the armor that they carry and the swords that they wield, it's heavy. And, you know, to keep wielding such things and fighting people, it's, it takes a lot. And, I feel like that's what you guys have been doing and been able to do. Um, so strong. And you are not only having such stamina, but with this chameleon card here, I think you're able to really adapt as well, which is also very warrior-like quality. You know, in certain situations, do you need to um, switch to a bow and arrow? Do you need to drop your sword and switch to like a... a a blade like a knife you know um things like that and i think you're able to do that you're you're able to observe your surroundings and switch things up you know and i think that that's very much that very much says a lot about your strength and your willpower and the things that you're able to do not only are you intelligent and strong um but you're also full of wisdom because you have this warrior-like energy. I'm being called to also reference Uhtred um, from The Last Kingdom. So that might be something that um, holds 
messages for you in that show if you've ever watched it or if that means something to you and um yeah he was a very great warrior and i i believe um he helped really uh bring england together for king alfred so um wow this is powerful um with a new new beginnings with moon maiden um m the letter m and the letter w might be significant for you guys just because i keep looking at the m and the w how they're switched you might also be having some mirroring going on in your life um as well 22 as master number all about balance crossroads you might have been at a crossroads recently in your life especially because of this uh like i'm just keep looking at the cross here on this which is wounds cards as well in which you have had you know a lot of wounds in which you've had to heal yourself from you've come out um, on the other side on, on a lot of things and um not only have you come out on the on the other side of a lot of things but you've come out stronger wiser and that much braver you know you're able to go through so much and you draw inspiration and power from the moon i feel like with this moon maiden um divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy there's so much balance here in your cards i feel like with this war warrior like energy not to say that warriors are only masculine there they can definitely be feminine as well but um with that being said i feel like the moon maiden really is a divine feminine type energy in that you're able to really receive and be soft and loving and nurturing um i also feel like with this new beginnings here it's really about your ideas being curious and true to yourself you have that here too with the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes you know this could be something like you are going to be doing something that might have been done before in a previous lifetime you know um and it might be like you feeling very at home with whatever this is like though it might be something brand new in this lifetime um it might feel like wow i feel like i've done this before i feel like this is natural this is something totally you know that's perfect um but i do also feel like you have the ability to adapt and shift and do what you need to do in order for you to grow and do the things that you need to do i mean get things done that you need to get done if that makes sense um so in that sense i do feel like you're able to really grow shift um elevate i feel like those words are i don't know you're having a hard time getting words out maybe you're not necessarily the best at expressing yourself because i feel like my throat shock is kind of blocked a little bit but definitely with a magical medicine and sacred heart remedy this could be like a lot of wounds within your family things like that um maybe you have a lot of family history that is kind of traumatic for you and that might have held you back in certain aspects might have you know really traumatized you in your childhood and affected you in adulthood um that you are working through and overcoming constantly or having to you know work through as you are doing things um for your career or things like that you know so let's see oh wow mother of cups which is the queen of cups in this deck have the mother of swords the three of cups so it could be um that you had a two things i'm picking up here okay you could have had a very strong relationship with your mother growing up or you could have had a very non-existent relationship with your mother or like a very strained relationship with your mother i feel like it's going to be one or the other um with this group um because you've either had to be a mother to yourself or you've had to be a father to yourself and you hold on i feel like i need to get more cards before i start talking you have the devil i 
and the Nine of Cups. I might have to clarify the Father of Swords. All right, so you guys, I feel like um, I feel like what this is is that you've had a very strong relationship with your mom for most of you. Um, you you had a really strong relationship with your mother, and what it is is that you maybe didn't have the best relationship with your father. Um, maybe that your father wasn't really around very much, and now that's what I feel like for most of you in this group. Okay, I'm casting a wide net here there are going to be a handful of you where it's going to be opposite, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? Um, because like I said, this is a general reading. Um, I do feel like with these wounds that you've had to deal with, though, you've had a very great upbringing where it has allowed you to really be nurtured in a feminine way okay when i say feminine i don't necessarily mean now this is where i'm going to just be general here feminine meaning nurtured loved um more like soft energy versus like authoritative uh hard and masculine you know masculine energy would be more authoritative disciplined hard and um rough energy i guess i don't really have the correct words um i like i said this uh throat chakra is very blocked maybe you have a hard time expressing this part um which is what i'm picking up on like i said this is general so take only what resonates but with your magic though i feel like this nurturing side of you you are very much healing and using this magical side of you to bring about love and healing and breathing life into others you know um i think that you are doing a lot of healing and choosing to see the shadowy sides and and love it love on it and nurture it you know with the devil card coming out and this capricorn energy i feel like you are finding ways to really look at your shadow aspects or any type of shadow aspects within your life and experiences in your life or even on the shadow aspects of let's say your father or your mother figure and really choose to love on them versus like choose to hate them or choose to resent them you know I feel like you're, you're starting to see things from a higher perspective and see it from like light and truth and love versus from a place of darkness. You know, I feel like you've really chosen to see things with light and see things with a different perspective, a different lens and have this like breathing like different light different light into it different life into it if that makes sense having a fresh start and a new beginning not to say that you know all is forgotten um but definitely at least releasing any type of resentment that you're holding on to and i'm not gonna say like i'm not gonna cast a net here and say everyone's forgiving people um because that's totally your choice to do that but at the very least i feel like you're no longer harboring any type of negativity there um for the most part i feel like you are letting go of that and you are finally able to fill yourself up with contentment at the very least if not at least with contentment at the very least if not happiness um i do feel like you are finding ways in which you are going to be celebrating with other people who are actually getting you birds of a feather flock together that's what i'm hearing i feel like you are finding people who really get you and understand you um with the mirroring thing that I was picking up on, this could definitely be you coming into contact with somebody who is a counterpart of yours. This doesn't necessarily mean twin flame energy, although if you identify with that, you can go ahead and claim it. But this is definitely a soulmate of some kind. Um, somebody who gets you, someone who sees you for who you are and understands you. There's a passion here, a new beginning here coming in. Um, that has a fiery light and definitely someone who is going to be there and a sense of stability there for you as well someone who wants to build a life with you and definitely has this energy of you know working hard and um being patient and 
willing to do whatever it takes to make things work and also doing some like creative flows you know i think that this person is somebody who isn't afraid to you know help you leave things behind that are not serving you and also understand like you have had things had difficult things like in the in your past and they're not afraid to you know unpack those things with you they're not afraid to see the things um see those things with you you know they're not afraid to talk about those things with you and see like those conflicts you know with this four of wands definitely like this um beautiful soulmate energy that that there is there in this ace of pentacles grounding that energy firmly into the ground i feel like this person is somebody who is not afraid to go the distance with you they're not afraid to you know hear your story and really help you heal while at the same time you know be there for you you know as a support system um because they see you they they get you you know what i mean um with this card here i feel like you are i feel like uh not you are but i feel like um what's that movie called rapunzel kind of like um flynn rider kind of had to learn about rapunzel's like weird past and he didn't really judge her you know he just kind of went with her and did things and i'm not saying that was a healthy relationship because he he lied to her and all that stuff but like what i'm saying is he didn't like think she was well he did but he you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it other than like he did everything with her and he worked hard with her and did all of those things and he still loved her in the end you know i think that's like the main message i'm getting out there with that is that this person is going to do those things with you um but yeah i feel like at the very least for what you are doing with your magic because this reading is so so different um and i might have to clarify more because i feel like i'm kind of giving you more of like a love reading um but i do feel like what you are using your magic for is like you nurturing yourself into seeing the light in other people and helping people see the light in themselves helping people to nurture themselves with the things that you have been through you know you've been training for this for lifetimes it's about you finding a new beginning in that you are seeing things from a higher perspective and helping people to really celebrate themselves for who they are and and what they've been through you know rather than seeing the negative side of things rather than seeing the darkness in things and being like no that's terrible and you shouldn't do that and i'm not going to help you because of that you know you choose to switch things up and you know recognize it for what it is but at the same time love on it because you know that without that darkness without that aspect there would not be the other side the light side you know and i feel like that's the main thing there is that you are able to see from an elevated perspective from a nurturing and loving perspective and not to say that you are facing things with toxic positivity because then that would be totally different. You are recognizing the negative side, the, the shadowy side, and choosing to handle it differently than you would. Does that make sense? Um, so maybe I don't need a clarifier because I feel like I explained that pretty well. Um, but yeah, definitely a counterpart could be coming forward um, towards you or at the very least if you already have a counterpart you know this new spark of um passion and inspiration is coming into your relationship in which you guys are elevating in another way you know um things are shifting and i feel like you're breathing life back into people back into their lives sparking this passion and inspiration to them and see helping them to see that they have this potential to be something so much better you know you might be giving them inspiration and hope and help them to see that you know they can do things you're inspiring them in your own way of doing something so that's incredible you guys you have this magic ability to do that you have 36 twice which is incredible so that's two nines you also have the nine there so that's three nines fruition fulfillment um intensifying so your energy is intense you guys and you guys are fulfilling things this year a lot of things 
I think, attaining a lot of things as well. So different. Your reading is so, so different from everyone else's, um, by the way. But you guys definitely have this warrior-like quality and you're able to do so many things and shift and, um, you know, be whatever you need to be in order to get the thing done. And I think that that's what you're having. You might be having a difficult time in finding where you're meant to be going. And what it is, is that you have to find what lights you up, you know? So as long as you understand that whatever this is for you, fulfills you and lights you up and inspires you, then you are on the right path this is something that is going to feel right it's going to feel like natural and it's something that helps you to balance your mind and your emotions I feel like that's what it is I do also feel like this is a lot of like you having fun and celebrating as well so you can take that with you also but let's see what else what else does group four need to know So many cards. I just heard wedding planner, but I don't think it's going to apply to everybody. What does group four need to know? What does group four need to know? The end of a tough, tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Group four, I also feel like when I see that card with your other cards, um, that something that you do could allow you to change up what you do. Does that make sense? Like you do something that taps into, that challenges your mind and your emotions as well. And it allows you to really dive deep into who you are. I feels like, um, it feels like this group is going to be so varied as far as like what you can do with your magic and who you are. You know what I mean? Like you could be a party planner, you could be an actor, you could be uh, an entertainer of some kind, you could be... Um, <sighs> You could be like a jack of all trades. You could be a temp job worker. You could be a, a substitute teacher. You could be, um, you know, literally anything in this group and it's going to blanket it because whatever this is, it's something that really challenges you to shift and it's something that lights you up, like I said. Um, and I wish I wasn't so cryptic in the, the delivery of the message, but ultimately it's like something that you've been training for, something that you have been um, like working on so hard for, and it literally lights you up when you do it. Um, you celebrate it often, and it can often challenge you in the most crazy ways with the double card coming out here as well. Um, I feel like this can be... a uh, I don't know, this can be like taboo stuff, this can be like sexual type things, this can be a lot of things, but it ultimately it's something that you find so much happiness and contentment, at, at the very least contentment in, but I feel like for most of you it's happiness, it's joy, it's fulfillment, and it's greatness, you know, um, there's always something new in it. you might have gone through something really tough lately and it's ending so I do want to say that what else does group four need to know Ooh. hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on I dropped a lot of cards 
Okay. What else does group four need to know? Sorry, you guys. We have balanced spirituality and practicality. Okay. I like that. Work through your fears. Yeah, I feel like don't let your fears hold you back. Like, it's just your ego talking sometimes. It's just your head, you know? Get out of your head. Ooh, I like this card for you guys. Your dreams need a practical plan, okay? Sometimes you can't just wish on a star, you know? You need to, like, plan. And don't let pride get in your way. You also have, have faith in your dreams. So definitely have faith in that. <clears throat> I'm going to take that as a bonus for you. And the back, we have look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. So sometimes you need to take a step back in order for you to see the full picture coming through. Okay. Group four. You guys are amazing. And sometimes people... Um, go through tough cycles and it'll get better I promise I feel like 2023 is going to be a very good year and like I said this is a timeless reading so whenever you're seeing this it's going to be a good time and it's just having faith okay advice and guidance for group four please from your soul from group four soul we have number oh my gosh why is this so hard to see in the light Number eight, you are whole. You don't need anyone to complete you. Absolutely. So in terms of that divine counterpart coming through, you don't need them to complete you. You are whole all by yourself. So if you are wanting them to come in sooner because you feel incomplete, just know you're whole all on your own. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have number nine. You are an extension of the universe itself. Stardust runs through your veins and galaxies swirl in your soul. Yes, you are incredible. Group four, incredible. That warrior spirit. Oh my gosh, drops another card. Like the queen of dropping cards. Okay, one more please, group four. Advice and guidance from group four soul. We have number seven. You can always be kinder to yourself. Yes. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Because I feel like sometimes you are. Or a lot of times. Number 19. Open your heart to the magic around you. Absolutely. Group four. Because seriously, not only around you, but within you, okay? Because you guys are so magical. It's crazy. I mean, seriously. You are so magical. Um... But that is where I'm going to leave your reading group for. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did, please go ahead and leave like a, I don't know, leave like a warrior emoji. Is there a warrior, like a shield or a sword emoji? Um, down below, smash the like button, comment down below. Let me know how you guys enjoyed it. And yes, I hope you guys subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Um, I'll also be dropping my Patreon link down below in case you're interested in joining our magical family there where we have exclusive content and weekly energy readings not available here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for letting me do this for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope this brought you guys some insight into your magic and just how incredible you are because you guys are by far my most, my most versatile, my most like warrior spirited and just powerful. You guys, honestly, like you guys can shift and do so many things and whatever it is that you are doing, it's incredible because you guys are able to shift. I mean, shift and shift and shift again. Um, and it's crazy but so beautiful and magical because you're able to do that and adapt like a chameleon and the most successful people can do that. So I hope you know that. 
Um, but yes, that's where I'm going to leave your reading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have a magical day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you soon. Bye.